beautiful people welcome welcome to Kate space welcome to my channel I am doing the last video well the last video before the flip through of the autumn Thanksgiving gratitude journal it's been quite a journey and I've enjoyed taking some of you along with it if you haven't seen it from the beginning making the cover and working our way through this journal uh, there will be a, a little link on the screen that you can click and that will take you to the beginning either the first video or the beginning of the playlist so there's a little playlist making this journal i followed melanie from moodside parlor who did a series on instagram of how she makes her fabric covered collaged journals and i gave that a go and i just wanted to use all these lovely sort of rich ready browns golds and things that i had there's some hand stitching anyway we don't need to go into that because that's for the flip through what we're going to do today is just start start finishing it <laughs> we're going to just finish off the bits that need to be stuck in uh I've already glued this envelope and the snippet to the front. I was really didn't really know what to do. Really didn't know what to do at the front. Um, I've added some, started adding some ephemera as well. And that's the tag that I had already made. And I think I'm just going to slip that in the front. So I do want to add this little piece of fabric and lace. Um, I've just paper clipped it there so that it didn't... And I have to try and get the paper clip off without tearing anything or getting it caught. That's going <laughs> to... Oh, yay. Okay, paper clip maybe wasn't the most intelligent idea. And I've got a rusty pin there too, which is... Do you know what the easiest way to do this is? <laughs> Just straighten out the... Straighten this out and chuck it away it's all caught up in there and i just yeah there we go done into the bin right so i've put a rusty uh safety pin and a little leaf charm on there and i just want i'm just going to glue that onto our little squirrel picture i think he can handle that just adds a little bit more of a layer so just with some of this aileen's glue This book has got quite bulky. <laughs> but I think that's okay. And I haven't really decided whether I what I'm going to tie around it, which I think I will. And also what I'm going to have. I think I'll have something dangling from there. So we need to do that. So in here I've got a piece of lovely uh, embossed handmade paper. That is from... Heather at Rose Hill Paper Cottage and a New Zealand check. I was going to make something out of this check, but I'm just going to actually leave it there. But I don't want a horrible modern silver paper clip to attach that. I think I'm going to go with rusty. This one's just not too rusty, just a little bit rusty. <laughs> And actually, why don't we tie something onto there? Just so we've got some more bits poking out. Just a really fast, easy way to decorate a paper clip and uses up all your little bits of trim or ribbon that you maybe haven't used then that leaves a paper clip right there I'm not sure that I love that but maybe we can maybe we'll find something to go in here I may go through and find some more ephemera for example I normally put in excuse me I'm just reaching over I normally put in one of the Kofi tree 
cards although it's it's sort of the wrong color so i'm not sure whether i will in this one right what else have we got i've just popped this i was going to do a sort of a flip out with this but then i changed my mind it was going to be a page in the journal and i forgot to sew it in but i love the images on it i love these black and white images so i've actually ended up gluing it together to give it some strength and i've just popped it in there so it can be cut up or whatever this is one of the tags so that's just gonna go in there so that's that done right this needs to be finished and i was umming and ahhing about whether to put pop her there and i'm just not sure if she's quite right just her colors i really like the yeah i really like kit but i'm just not sure about her there still not sure she's been sitting there for a while mm, i think she might have to go in something else and we'll have to I need to think of something else to go here. I have got this, but I think that's way too big. What else needs to be done? Oh, this this little thing needs to be... So I've made this little flip and I've popped a little tag in there. Actually, there's a video making these tags and I will link that up on the screen. <laughs> Somewhere. You'll see it pop up. And you can go and watch it if you feel like it right let's glue this on Not just yep let's do it It's a beautiful day here. The rain has stopped. We've had a whole heap of rain. And which is great. I mean, that's spring, isn't it? The rainy kind of wet weather. But we were all a little bit sick of it. And it's just so beautiful out there now. The sun is shining. I've just come in from cutting all the lawns. We've got a big section running down to the beach. And when we went down to the beach the other day, um, we live on a pretty wild beach. Um... You go down to the bottom of our section and then there's a little a little bridge that goes over a little, well, it'd be generous to call it a stream, but anyway, it's a big, very big waterway, little stream. And that goes to the bottom of this big bank of rocks and up and over there and down again is the ocean. And we have a little fire pit and some chairs and stuff at the top. We went down there the other day and in one of the big storms the waves and mixed with the water coming down from the rain uh, have thrown a whole lot of rocks right over and down and across the bridge so the bridge is covered in stones and onto our grass so yeah that's quite that was would have been quite something to see okay so that's that little tuck flippy tuck thing haven't made one of those for ages okay what else have we got to pop in here that's all done and i'm not actually going to put anything on the top of that because i want it to tuck up into there that one's done these are done Oop, that's in and ready to go Ah, uh, we need a paper clip here. I had a little rusty bird one, but I don't know where it's gone. Be careful these paper clips don't rip rip your um things when you pull them off. There might be another little rusty bird one in here. In my in the rusty things here it is it's kind of cute i thought maybe this one would look cool oh but then i'd rather have a rusty bird at the top okay so 
I think we we'll just do a rusty paper clip and I'm going to put some antique lace on there to sort of match what's going on on that big tag. Yeah, so lovely to have some beautiful weather. The lawns mowed. Man, they had, they had just grown so long, which I guess, you know, that's what happens. That's what happens when you get a bit of rain and sort of warmish weather. So long. Right, that's hopefully going to give that a bit of stability in there. And then this last bit, I think. I did a bit of collaging in the last night. And I think I might... Maybe we could put a little birdie up here. And I thought I might just stick this. I was going to make it a pocket. I suppose you could tuck something in there. Anyway, we're going to, I'm going to glue the... Um, since I went to all the trouble of cutting this wee fairy out, and I think she's adorable, I think I will pop her... On. I'm just trying to see my glue. There it is. Maybe. And on the back is just plain. So it's whether we leave it as a. Oh, I don't want to glue on that there. Some of my veggies that I've planted in the veggie garden have started to grow. There's a tiny little courgette flower with a little courgette or zucchini. If you've watched some of my other videos, um, when I say compact, bushy and high yielding, that's my courgette plant. <laughs> That'll make you laugh. If you watch my other videos, you'll know why. Um, oh. So yeah, that's pleasing. And the beans look like they're going to get some, get, they've got some flowers on them. Yeah, so that's great. Things are growing in the garden. She kind of fits on there just so perfectly. It just seems a shame not to, to use her, even though she covers it over some of that lovely but that's okay. I've been having a play with uh, some of the sample uh, sample stamp set called I think it's dates from the past and so I had this tag just sort of sitting around and I, I just had a little play last night with some of the stamps and I oh they're so beautiful I'm loving those I'm tempted to stick one on here actually. That's one under there which I've just covered up. <laughs> I wonder if I should do one for here. So I think I've decided the plan for this journal is a giveaway. A giveaway for um, on my Instagram account uh, because I have reached a bit of a milestone a while ago. It happened sort of quite qu quickly of three thousand followers, and I have I have a very um, small faithful following as well of people who have been following me and encouraging me since the very beginning so I thought oh, I'm going to give this put this journal as a giveaway uh, when I do the flip through I will um, announce here and also on on the Instagram what to do to follow it'll be just something simple really just probably a comment or something but anyway now we I <laughs> not we I need to decide whether I'm just going to have this as a a card that just attaches there I'm tempted to do that and then someone can make it into something or journal on it actually I think I will where's my little bird she just pop this on with the little bird it's 
kind of cute. Oh, but then, yeah, that's going to mark the back of there. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do. Not sure what I want to do with her. And that's pretty much all. I'm not putting any more frills on. I did a little bit of texture paste stenciling. Um, not very much. So again, it's my usual sort of lots of writing space and lots of space for someone to make it their own kind of journal. But there are little sentiments throughout which um, do kind of make it a... Uh, uh, of a gratitude oh there's a bit of stenciling there a gratitude journal and i think i'll add maybe just a little bit more a little bit more ephemera just to tuck in but other than that i think most of it's done what should we maybe we should hang something on the bottom here let's do that i'll just go and find my beads and we'll decide what we want found these they're kind of like super sparkly glass sort of orangey beads and I wondered if they might work but now I look at them with the journal I just don't think they will I don't think they look right at all so I don't think I'm gonna have anything right that solves that problem no dangles so we can cut the strings very quick and then we need do need to find something to tie the journal up and I think I'm probably just going to go with some cream sari silk got this orangey piece I don't I almost don't want anything going across no definitely not that So then it's just whether we put something relatively nondescript around it. Hmm. Doesn't really work. But I think that's what it's gonna have to be. Either that or some eyelets. Hmm. Maybe the cream will be fine. <laughs> Strings everywhere, of course. Sari silk. I do have the brown silk ribbon, but again, I don't think the pieces are long enough and I could join them, but they're actually slightly different. So, yeah, this isn't gonna. Sadly, that's just not quite long enough. Because I quite like. I quite like the brown silk ribbon, but I think we're going to have to go with the sari silk. I'm just going to cut that there.
just keeps it nicely closed and then you've still got all that lovely color there I don't know if you can see there's some sun and reflection coming through because it's such a beautiful day and I get the afternoon evening sun in here over summer in the winter it doesn't quite manage to get through but in the summer it does I think we're done unless I think of any other little knickknacks I want to put on here um, which at this stage I don't there was just that one little spot where I was thinking of putting something here but it doesn't have to have something so yeah anyway that's just a really short video of us of me just finishing it up and i'm really happy with it and i'm glad to have, have it done <laughs> so yeah the next video that goes up will be the flip through so i hopefully you'll hang around and you'll see that and thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon in the next video bye